It's a fall morning before sunrise. As the sun creeps up, ducks in groups large and small fly in to gather on a private pond near Othello. On a hill above the pond, a biologist waits to pull the trigger that will drop a net on the ducks, trapping them in order to band them. Along with cooler fall weather comes ducks traveling to Washington from neighboring states and provinces. Wildlife biologists spend several weeks each year of trapping these birds and banding them. The process is quick and harmless. The net is dropped, biologists head down to the pond as fast as they can to free the ducks and put them in crates while they await banding. They're not hurt by this process and become very docile when handled by humans. After all the ducks are safely in crates, the banding work starts. Each bird is removed one at a time, examined, a band placed on its leg, then the band gently crimped close so it doesn't come off. The aluminum bands are very light so as not to disrupt flight or other natural functions of the birds. Data for each duck is recorded, including sex, band number, species, and the duck's approximate age, if it was hatched this year or is older. This patterning on the side, the vermiculation, that's a male characteristic. Females very rarely get that in puddle ducks. So hen mallards won't have this wavy line pattern on any of our feathers. In here, so this white above the speculum here, mm -hmm. since it doesn't extend towards the body past the, the color in the speculum, that's a male type characteristic. When a hunter shoots a banded bird and turns in the band number, biologists use the database to learn when the duck was banded, which helps them determine an approximate age of the bird at harvest and how far the duck has traveled since being banded. And you might be surprised how far and how fast some of these ducks travel. For instance, upon bagging a pintail in rural Mississippi in 2008, a hunter submitted his band information and was surprised to learn that his duck had been banded in Japan. Information from these simple bands is used to monitor populations, set hunting bag limits, and restore potentially threatened or endangered species. It was also used to develop the flyaway system that has been used for managing migratory birds in the U.S. since 1950. If you find or harvest a bird with a band, please report it to reportband.gov.